if you want to create a smooth background transition inside a framer, just like this one, then this tutorial is for you. In this video, we're gonna utilize Framer's powerful animation features to build this effect right here. Let's go. Okay, so here we are inside of our Framer project and you'll see inside our desktop here, we've got three different sections and each section actually has a scroll section name and we've got one called Peach, Blueberry and Grapefruit. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do from this design is just remove the background fill from each section. And if you do wanna follow along with this tutorial, the remix link is down below. Okay, great. Now that I've done that, what I'm gonna do is press F and draw a new frame on my canvas just off to the side. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna create this as a component. And we'll just call this background fill. Now inside this fill, we're just gonna create three variants and we're gonna call this one color one, variant two to be color two, and variant three to be color three. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set some variables for each variant. So we're gonna create a new one here and we'll call this color one. We'll create another one, which is gonna be color two. And we're gonna create one more, which is gonna be, you guessed it, color three. And essentially what this is gonna be used for is setting the colors that we wanna transition through for each section of our website. So now if I go back to the canvas here, you notice under my component, we're going to have only the color one. Now to fix this and to show all three colors is we need to go onto each variant and we just need to change the property from uh, that variable to be that color. So if we go variant three, we're also gonna set the variable to be color three. So now that actual component here actually has the ability to set all three of those colors. So if I choose color one to be the peach rose and if color two is the blueberry and color three is the grapefruit, now we're ready to actually implement this into our site. So what I'm gonna do is actually move this component onto the top of my canvas, just like so. And we're gonna change the positioning to be fixed. So it's always gonna stay there. And let's set the width to be 100%. So it takes up 100% width of the browser. And we're gonna set the height to be viewport. So it's also gonna take up 100% of height of our actual computer screen. And now since this is overflowing all the rest of my content, we're just gonna set the Z index in my styles to be zero. So now when I preview this, you'll notice that nothing will happen, but it's like that background is stuck to my entire screen. Now that we've done that, we can now add the animation to our project. So inside this component here, we're going to create a new effect and we're going to set this effect to be scroll variant. In the scroll variant effect tab here, we're going to change the trigger to be section in view because we already set up these sections already. Essentially what we're going to do is when we transition or scroll to another section, it's going to change the background component for us. So for example, let's just set the viewpoint to be the center. So for example, on Peach, it's going to be color one. And if we add a new section and let's say we scroll to the blueberry section, we're going to change it to color two, which is our blueberry color. And then again, if we change it to grapefruit and set the color to be color three, then everything should just work. So now if I preview my site, you'll notice as I scroll and when I hit the center of that section, it actually changes the entire background color. And then this way we create this really nice effect to transition through all of my colors. And just like that, we took a boring static website and turned it into something way more lively and exciting. Let me know what tutorial you wanna see next in the comments below and consider subscribing to the channel because we put out more Framer content every single week. Until next time, I'll catch you later.